Fraudsters love the beginning of the year because every January, we all start receiving our tax documents and begin preparing our tax returns. And millions of dollars every single year are lost from people falling victim to scammers acting like the IRS. This can be totally understandable. Most people are fearful of the government knocking on their door, especially when they are trying to collect money they owe. And if you receive a message like this, the fear of being arrested or having to pay fees and penalties can be overwhelming. Luckily, there are really just two things to pay attention to in spotting these scams. First is through the form of communication they are using. The IRS will never contact you directly through email, text messages, or phone calls demanding immediate payment. Their first communication will always be through the mail using the United States Post Office. And the only time they will call you directly is to set up some kind of appointment for things like an audit. Also, the IRS isn't going to utilize pre-recorded voicemails. So if you get one, just hang up. An agent will always call you directly, not a robot. On very rare occasions, an IRS representative may visit you, but if they do, they will always have two forms of official credentials. One is called a pocket commission, and the other is an HSPD 12 card. You have a right to see these credentials. So if the individual is unfamiliar with what they are, or they refuse to show them, that is a huge sign of a scam. Secondly, be conscious of the message they are sending. The IRS will never utilize threats or fear to seek out payment. If you receive any communication demanding immediate payment or threatening to call law enforcement, those are both big red flags. The IRS also won't threaten to revoke driver's licenses, business licenses, or immigration status. These are all signs of scams. If you do owe money, they will send something through the mail. And even then, they will always give you time to appeal the amount owed. Also, the IRS isn't going to require you to pay with any specific payment method. And when it is time to pay, they will always require payment to be made directly to the United States Treasury. If you ever receive any communication that is a scam, you can contact the U.S. Treasury Inspector General from the IRS Impersonation Scam Reporting webpage. You should also contact the FTC from the FTC.gov webpage. Or you can simply send an email to phishing at irs.gov. Providing these details to proper authorities will help in combating future threats. And finally, the IRS has a webpage that you can utilize to verify any money you owe. This can also help with validating any communication you have received.